Okay, so in the previous video, we discussed an example on maximizing profit. Okay, this time, we will discuss an, an example on minimizing cost. So for our second example, it reads, A farmer plans to mix two types of food to make a mix of low-cost feed for the animals in his farm. A bag of food A cost $10, contains 40 units of protein, 20 units of minerals, and 10 units of vitamins. A bag of food B cost $12, contains 30 units of proteins, 20 units of minerals, and 30 units of vitamins. How many bags of food A and food B should be consumed by the animals each day in order to meet the, the daily minimum daily requirements of 150 units of protein, 90 units of minerals, and 60 units of vitamins at a minimum cost. So in order to solve this linear programming problem, we will convert this first to an LP model. So first, we decide on our decision variables. So notice that for this statement, there are two types of food to be mixed for the locust feed. And the, those two types of food are food A and food B. So for our decision variables, we will let X be the number of bags of food A and Y be the number of bags of food B. Now, let's have our objective function. So for our objective function, we want to minimize cost. Okay, notice that a bag of food A cost $10 and a bag of food B cost $12. So how do we express the total cost if there are X bags of food A and there are Y bags of food B. So in this case, our objective function is minimize cost. And the cost is 10x plus 12y. So our objective function is minimize 10x plus 12y. Okay, then we go to our constraints. Okay, for our constraints, notice that a bag of food A has 40 units of protein and a bag of food B contains 30 units of proteins. Now, the minimum daily requirement of proteins is 150 units. So, how do we express this in terms of inequality? So, if there is X bags of food A, and food A has 40 units of protein, and there are Y bags of food B, and food B contains 30 units of protein. So that means the total prop, uh, protein is 40x plus 30y. However, we want the total protein to meet the minimum daily requirement. So that means 4x plus 30y should be greater than or equal to 150. Okay, next. Now, a bag of food A contains 20 units of minerals and a bag of food B contains 20 units of minerals. Now, we want to have a mix of food A and food B so that it meets the minimum daily requirement of 90 units of minerals. 
if there are x bags of food A and y bags of food B, how much is the total minerals? So in this case, the total minerals is 20x plus 20y. Now, this total minerals should meet the minimum daily requirement. So 20x plus 20y should be greater than or equal to 90. Okay, next. A bag of food A contains 10 units of vitamins, while a bag of food B contains 30 units of vitamins. Now, the minimum daily requirement for vitamins is 60 units. Now, if there are X bags of food A and Y bags of food B, how much is the total number of vitamins? So the total number of vitamins will be 10x plus 30y. However, the total amount of vitamins should meet the minimum daily requirement. So we have 10x plus 30y is greater than or equal to 60. So this completes the resource constraints. And again, there, there are constraints that are not mentioned in the problem. In this case, X represents the number of bags of food A, while Y represents the number of bags of food B, so X and Y cannot be negative. So we have to include the non-negativity constraints. So now this completes the linear programming model for this linear programming problem. So we are done with step one. We have set the decision variables, identified the objective function, and enumerated the constraints. Now moving on to step two, we will graph using Desmos and determine the feasible region. So we will consider the constraints and we will treat this as a system of linear inequalities. Again, we recall that a system of linear inequalities can be graphed using Desmos. So if you do that, the finished product will be this. So using Desmos, our feasible region will look like this. Again, the feasible region represents the set of all points that satisfy all the constraints. Okay, next we enumerate the corner points. So we have 0, 05, 1.5, comma 3. 3.75 comma 0 0.75 and 60. Okay. After enumerating the corner points, we will use the corner point principle. Again, the corner point principle states that the objective function is optimized at one of the corner points. So in our linear programming model, we want to minimize the cost. The cost is 10x plus 12y. Now substituting the corners, okay, we see that among the corner points, the third one minimizes the total cost. So this will serve as our solution to the linear programming problem.
For the last step, we make our conclusion. Thus, the farmer gets a minimum cost if he buys 3.75 bags of food A and 0.75 bags of food B. In this case, the minimum cost is equal to 46.50. Now take note that we use 3.75 because there is a notion of 3.75 bags of food A. Similarly, we use 0.75 bags of food B because it's possible to have 3 fourth bag of food B. So this ends the lecture on linear programming. If you have questions, please comment below and I will attend to them. Thank you.